All right, thank you so much. Uh, I know that some of you have asked me how to create a database and just load it into Delphi. So I'm just going to share this very short video where I'm just going to illustrate how you can do this. I'm just going to create a very simple version of this and just load it into Delphi using the addo component. And uh, if you follow along in this video and you understand the steps correctly, um, you'll be able to implement this in your pet. Please note that you can at any time also just uh, contact me and ask me for some help. So first of all, I've opened up Microsoft Access over here. You can see Access over there. And with Microsoft Access, we are now going to actually go and create the database. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on this blank database section over here. So once I click on this blank database, there's going to be a few important steps. Number one, you're going to rename your database and give it the extension MDB. So I'm just going to call this one sample.mdb. MDB stands for Microsoft Database. So please make sure that you do MDB and not MBD. So it's easy to swap those last two characters around. So just be cognizant of that and we'll click on the create button to get things started. Now, when this starts, uh, uh, you can actually see, you can go now go and save your database and it's gonna ask you for a table name. So I'm just going to call this one clients. Right, now after we've done clients, we can actually go and we can um, just edit this table in order to have the required fields. So I'm going to click here on the view section and click on design view. And with the design view, um, what I'm going to do, let me just get rid of this arrow. What we're going to do is now we're going to fill in some of the fields over here that we need in order to, um, to create our table. So I'm just going to say client name it works better if we've got one word and I'm going to choose the the the, um, the data type over here um, I'm not going to need 255 characters in order to in order to actually um, work with this so I'm going to change up this 255 to something that's a little bit more realistic uh, in terms of the client name so I'll actually go and I'll edit this and I'll say maybe 30 characters is enough for this. The rest of those options you can kind of leave as is, nothing needs to change there. We'll add two more, so I'll add client surname. Client surname can also be about 30 characters. And then uh, let's add client age. And now for client age, I, I'd like to select a number type. So if it's a number type, I have the options here of long integer, short integer or byte. Now, a byte is the smallest uh, form that you can find here, and I think it's uh, 0 to 255 um, number. And I don't believe anybody's older than that, so I'm just going to select byte over there. All right, let's say that's all for now, and I can go to my data sheet view. It's going to ask me to save the table, and now my table is saved. So let's just add a few random um, values in here. And with those random values, we can then go to Delphi and see if we can populate a database or a data table. So in this stage, let's just add some random data. I'm just gonna pause the video, add some one or two names, and then I'll get back to you. All right, so I've added a few records in there and I've stored my table, I've saved my table, and now I'm actually um, ready to go and close my table. I just need to know where my data table is saved. So. For convenience sake, I'm just going to um, put it into a folder. So I'm just going to create a little uh, example folder that I put on my desktop and I'm gonna pop the database in there. If you wanna save it to a different folder, you can always click Save As. Once you've clicked Save As, it's going to be vitally important that you select this option over here. If you don't select this option over here, um, then it simply won't work in Delphi. So I'll select this option here once I've selected, I'll say save as, I'll just okay everything. And now I need to go and save this somewhere. So I'm just gonna save this on my desktop. Just going to make this one a example database. And in here, I wanna save it as just sample, not sample one, just sample. Okay, there we go. So I've saved my database in there. All right, so now that my database is actually saved, I can go ahead and I can um, just view it over here in the corner. I can view it right over here. There you can see my database very, very nicely saved. And now I can head over to Delphi. So open up Delphi. 
wait for my slow computer which is not finding it at the moment there we go and we'll wait alrighty we're back so I'm going to create a new Delphi VLC forms application and on here I'm just going to throw everything that I need onto this one form so the first thing I'm going to need is a DB grid which I'm just going to keep labeled as DB grid so that's not an issue uh, make it nice and big so we can see our five records in there and then I'm going to start adding my addo component so I'm going to need addo connection which is the first component and I'm just going to leave the names as is you can obviously rename them for the purposes of your pet and then we've got addo table which we're going to add in here and then we're going to need a nice little extra one called data source and the data source is going to be the one that connects to the table so how this works is the database the actual physical database file connects to this addo connection um, component the addo table connects to the addo connection so it's database addo connection addo table data source and then eventually it gets populated to the screen now we're going to do this live so i'm just going to click here and the first thing i want to do is i actually want to focus on this little option here called the connection string the connection string so once i go there i can click on the three little dots here on the side and now i'm able to build my connection string click on the build option select the very first option here microsoft jet 4.0 oledb provider click on next now you select the database so i'm going to go to my little desktop file and here's my example database here's my sample all right i can test my connection make sure everything is working and in order and select ok and select ok now once i've done this and i've created my connection string i can actually click on this connected option over here it's asking me for this prompt and i'm actually going to show you what you can do to get rid of it so there's an option here that says login prompt so i'm just going to deselect that and now when i connect it simply connects so that's brilliant next up i'm going to go to my addo table component it's got an option that says connection and in here i'm going to select my addo connection component so this one selects the database with a connection string this one selects the addo connection component by the connection property now if i'm done with that i can go to the bottom and over here i can now select a table name now this is going to contain a whole list of all the tables in your database but for now we only have the one the one called clients so i'll select clients over there now next up i'm going to go to data source data source has one property that hasn't been filled in called data set and here you can only select your addo table components all right now we're almost there I'm going to select lastly I'm going to select my DB grid and there's an option here for data source and you guessed it we're going to select the data source now you can see that nothing has really happened but if I go to my addo table and I go to the right at the top and I activate this one immediately all of the records from my database is now available in my Delphi program you can also use Delphi code in order to manipulate the addo table just how you want. You can insert new records, update, delete, edit, move to and from to the first, to the next record, to the last, anything you really want to do. So for that part, you can just go through your uh, work again through your notes and you'll see exactly how you can connect your database. I hope this tutorial has been helpful. Good luck with your pet. Good luck with studying. I'll see you soon.